Okay, it's that time of year again. WWDC has just wrapped up. You want to know how to install the betas of iOS, macOS, watchOS, and tvOS, if that's their thing. Let's go through how to do it with an Apple developer account, how to do it without a developer account, how to do it the legit way, and how to fudge the stats a little. Let's get into it. So, first things first, if you're an Apple developer, this will be super simple. All you need to do is be signed up for the developer program, which is $100 a year, 100 euros, depending on your persuasion. And of course, that'll be it. You don't need to do anything else with it. You just need to be there, have a developer account, and then the betas will be available to download. Now, for mere normies like myself, who don't want to or can't afford to install the betas through a developer account, because that's expensive, you can also go through this way. Now you're gonna to go to the website linked down below and at this website, you're gonna see a ton of bases. Choose the beta you want and that's pretty much it. You download the profile onto your device and install the beta that way. It's fully legit and I did this last year with iPadOS the beta and it worked phenomenally. There's no guarantee though that this beta will work with your device. So, for the love of God, please, if this is your primary device, do not install this on your primary device if you're willing to have a properly usable device. There are going to be bugs. There's going to be risks with this. But if you're willing to take those risks, it is going to be phenomenal to have the latest version of iOS developer bases on your device. There are features in this that are exclusive to the developer base until the public release, but keep in mind, if you want to go on to the public release after being on the beta, you will have to reset your device and reinstall to back your settings. You will not be able to just hop off the developer beta and keep your data. So do keep a backup to the latest version of iOS before you've hit the beta because uh, there are some things that could go wrong. If you go with the watch OS beta, you will have a potential to have your device break. So maybe wait a day or two until the, the first people have gone on the betas so that you have an idea of, okay, maybe this is risk, risky. And for the record, if you use your Mac or iPad or phone for work-related things, or you rely on it, do not install the beta. There have been issues in the past where Premiere or Final Cut hasn't played nicely, and that ruins the workflow, and you have to go through the whole process of reinstalling macOS, and that's not fun. That's how to install the betas. And if you like this video, and you also were able to install the betas, give us a like, subscribe, let me know what you think of the betas down in the comment section below and maybe share this with your family and friends, share it on Twitter with everyone who wants to know how to install the betas. Thanks for watching, catch you next one.